Hi, everybody, and welcome to the season debut of Nixon Six. Great to have everyone with us. Bill Pito, along with Rebecca Harlow, who is on her way to the Knicks plane. Rebecca, how's the Waze app treating you through the traffic right now? That is right. I figured what better for the debut than to be on the way to the team, to the team plane. We're flying to Chicago and the Knicks are looking for another win, Bill. But this is a little behind the scenes of how things work. Typically, the team flies out the day before a game sometime in the afternoon. And I love that Coach Thibodeau bases it on traffic in the city that we're landing in. So that determines the time that we leave, which is great because the less sitting in traffic on the other side, the better. That's fascinating. So how does Coach Tibbs know about the, well, he knows Chicago really well, obviously, but how could he predict what the traffic's going to be like <laughs> in the landing city? Well, it's more like you never want to land anywhere at five o'clock, right? So it's basing it around how long it's going to take us to get to wherever it is that we're going. But Tibbs is big on making sure that he can streamline the process for the players so that they're not sitting in buses or cars or anything like that so they can get to the nearest gym, put up shots or get to the hotel, do treatment, get rest, all that good stuff before games. Really interesting. So we want to rapid fire six things that we're looking forward to as the Knicks begin their season. Number one for me, Rebecca, Knicks balance. Never more in evidence the depth against Philadelphia. When they played nine guys, Tibbs played nine guy, uh, 10 guys. He played 10 guys and nine of the 10, Rebecca, scored at least seven points, which to me is really indicative of what they hope for and what we can look forward to is tremendous scoring depth from top to bottom. Yeah, absolutely. And not only do they have depth, but there's they have so many interchangeable parts, which is so exciting too, that there's a lot of different rotations that coach can play with. But speaking of that win on Tuesday, I am fired up for Mitchell Robinson. Dude, in the last seven months that he's been out of the game, he said he fell in love with the great weight room. That was so evident against Joel Embiid. He goes up against one of the best centers in the league. He was banging around. He was backing him down. And he was sending a message to the NBA that he is ready to be a big time center. And I can't wait to watch it happen. And we look forward to and keep our fingers crossed that Robinson stays healthy for the entire season. I'm also, Rebecca, looking forward to the play of the second unit. The first unit obviously has added Evan Fournier and Kemba Walker. The second unit, for the most part, depending on who the center is, is the second unit from last year. And boy, have we seen the carryover, especially what they were able to do against Philadelphia when the second unit led a second quarter barrage that teed the win. That second unit and the depth is something I'm really looking forward to. And I think it's something, Rebecca, that it separates the Knicks from other teams. Absolutely. I think that Coach Thibodeau is going to have the luxury in the fourth quarter down the stretch to decide, does he go with the first unit or the second unit? And typically we're going to see that it's going to be some combination of both, that he can go with the hot hand at the time. And I think that's such a great thing for this team moving forward. But Bill, I'm going to stay on that second unit idea and get a little more specific. I'm so fired up for Obi Toppin dunks and fans being back in the building. <laughs> How electric has it been? I mean, it feels like a playoff atmosphere inside of the garden every minute of the game. And when he runs the floor, gets those dunks, the crowd goes crazy. You can't hear yourself talk. Nick's basketball is so, so back in a big way. It's awesome. It's been fantastic so far. And another thing that I'm focused on, Rebecca, is the pace of play. The increase in three-point shooting. They set the franchise record for three ball attempts against Orlando with 54. In the second meeting against Orlando, they put up 48 threes. I think the more ideal total, Rebecca, I don't know what you think, but from what the coach has said, the 37 three attempts against Philadelphia, I think the ideal total. They don't want to go wild with the threes, but they want to take more than the 30 that they averaged per game last year. I think the high 30s is the ideal total. It's something I'm going to keep an eye on every single night. 
Yeah, absolutely, Bill. And I think we're going to see the number that they're hitting per game come, or not, not the number that they're making, but the number of attempts come down a little bit. Because if you think about that first game was overtime and then that Orlando blowout, they're not going to have blowouts like that every single night. So I think we'll see that average attempt per, per game come down just a little bit. Um, but I agree with you. And, and I can't wait to see them break the record again because I don't think that they're going to stop at 24. I think that we're going to see them break that a couple more times this season. So, you know, I'm excited about that. But the other thing, too, I am really, really, really excited to see what this backcourt can do. This new look backcourt between Evan Fournier and Kemba Walker. These guys come in with the right mindset. They have so much experience. They are both so talented. And the thing that I think is so great, talking to Coach Thibodeau, is he says that there's really been no process where he feels like the chemistry wasn't there from the start. And when you can get that from your guards, it's really, really beneficial that those two already have such an understanding of the rest of the team, where they want the ball, how they want to play. And the fact that they fit in so seamlessly, I think is really, really exciting for the rest of that starting rotation. So many storylines, Rebecca. It's great to be back with you and everyone on Nixon Six. Have a great trip to Chicago and fingers crossed that the traffic is okay when you guys <laughs> land. That is right. Gotta love Chi-Town, but that's my old team, but I can say go Knicks these days. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Nixon Six.